Hey, Rocky Rococo left me hanging. Hi, how are you, everybody? Good to be here again in front of 30,000 people at the Rocky Rococo Master Pizza Theater. Especially the girls in the balcony. Hi, holding up the sign that says, go to it, fatty. Um, good to be here again. Now, I was gone, obviously, took a break. Uh, while I was gone, a lot of things happened. I'm at the Capitol, and there's some kind of protest. Apparently now, there's animal products and shampoo. Animal, there's animal products and shampoo, now, which kind of, I think is fair, but they should have to change the names. Maybe instead of head and shoulders, they could have pork and shoulders. <laughs> instead of, gee, your hair smells terrific, they could have, gee, your hair smells like a steak. That would be good. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on the dirtier material. I know I got that image of the wild man. My mom and dad, they want to change that too. They take me to Vegas to see Tom Jones to show me what kind of entertainment. <laughs> Apparently all the Tom Jones fans in the world are here with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's nice to say. So they take me to see Tom Jones, who's supposed to be a clean entertainer. And Tom moves his pelvis to every single song. It doesn't matter what the rhythm of the song is. Like, What's new, pussycat? Whoa. And I got to thinking, what? there's no other job. You, you can't do this at the Gap. You can't say, uh, excuse me, where are the pants? Oh, they're down there around by the shirts over there. All right. Hey, hey Just you. Second, stand up guy. Oh, ah, make I me love fat. Is that that? Yeah, yeah, and then another time, this lady had a beeper, and it starts going off, and somebody goes, look out, that lady's gonna back up! Ah! Subject David Gray, stand-up comic. Another night in another town, in another comedy club. It's a scene that he's played out so many times before. But what David Gray doesn't know is that tonight is about to take a twist that he's never played before. David is about to step across that imaginary line between light and shadows. Next stop for David, the Twilight Zone. I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he comes to your house. He brings a pizza. You open the box, stick, say whatever you want, stick. You eat him down, and the you're man. happy, or else I'm gonna show he's up. The man. And I'll show you where I'm gonna say the man. Sticks, baby. Rocky's the, the man. No, you. That's right. You know what? I'll tell you one more we thing gotta you got to know, you baby. right now, because the man is in the zone. Don't you know? Yo, With it Rocky, is. you know you can't lose. You can't beat that giant. Why is that, holy? Why can't you beat the giant? Well, because basically his pieces are really quite big. That's damn straight. That's and right. I'll tell you something else. If Robbie were an Indian, he'd be Cochise. If Robbie were a cop, he'd be king of the Chiefs. Hey, how about some one-on-one -on -one conversation with men who are total couch potatoes? We're talking total brain-dead zombie types, and they're just a phone call away. And it's live one-on-one. -on -one. So share your secrets with immature loser types, and it's live one-on-one. -on -one. They're waiting. Call 1-900 Sedentary before these guys get up and have to go potty. Hey All right. I want to thank everybody who got watching our Rocky Bococo uh, Master Pizza Theater here, huh? We had a great crew and a great cast. Uh, Dave Gray, our 60-second stand-up guy. Uh, there's uh, Patsy Hatch, uh, Scott Yarborough, Channel 47, Jim Patterson, Anita Walker, uh, Rocky Bococo, Uncle Sal. Let's see, there's Wayne, Roger, Gale, Lana. Lots of people, huh? Oh, let's not forget Peter Sturgis here. Uh, Peter Sturgis, the guy with the mop. All right, we can't see him, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week, huh? All right. Now let's get some pizza, right? Let's get some pizza.